and welcome to episode 16 of Strike. In my first upload I told you I want to show you things you have never seen before. Well, in this episode I will show you a snake you have indeed probably never seen before. This species is making its on camera debut right here on YouTube. No one has ever uploaded a video about this species ever before. Are you ready? We're not sure. Don't take chances or something. Hold on. Hey, hey, hey. This one's a wild one. Tell you what. Hey, hey, hey. Settle down. Settle down. Hold on there. Hold on to this now. Stop it. Hold on. So this right here is a a bark snake. We call it an eastern bark snake. So they are mildly venomous, not highly venomous. So. I do not know how my body is going to react to the venom of that snake, so just try to be a little bit careful there. And this one's really, really wild. Settle down now, man. Settle down. And this one's the wildest snake I've ever come across. Check this out. Okay, now it's settled nicely. Look at their head. It's so small and tiny. Now this right here is a mildly venomous snake, so they have back fangs. Just like a bomb stung. So their venom is like a hemotoxic venom, like all back fang species. So it means that you're going to start bleeding everywhere. So if it bites you, you might not stop bleeding out of that. But usually this venom from that snake is not deadly. So it's more like that of a, of a wasp or something like that. So you cannot kill you unless you're actually allergic to the venom. And this right here is beautiful color. Imagine if I put it here nicely in this tree. Look at the camouflage on this one. Beautiful. It almost looks just like the stick. You see that? Look at this color. It is excellently camouflaged out here in the wild. Beautiful, you know, I was just wiggling and getting away from you on the ground. I tried to catch it off camera before we actually could start rolling. It was going like boom, 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 boom. Wow, that's a wild one here. And obviously good reflexes. So this one will survive out here in the wild for a long time because it is very, very quick. Gets away from predators very fast. So we call this actually an eastern bark snake in the area, in the Limpopo area, so we call this an eastern one. And um, it almost looks like a twig snake, you know, if you look at the color here, if you don't even see the head, you might as well think it's like a little twig snake, that's why I wasn't even sure when I saw it. So it might as well just be a twig snake. Or it might also have been like a reticulated centipede eater. Mm -hmm. And um, even look at the belly, I want to show you the belly here, it looks just like a stick. Usually the belly of snakes is looking different than the rest of the body, but this one is just cryptically colored. Now I'll let it go here. You ready for that? Mm -hmm. So we'll now let it go on the stick and look how it's just camouflaging with its environment. And what they do, they actually just balance on a stick just like a twig snake or they call it the bark snake because usually they actually are um, in like a piece of bark hiding away that's actually sticking away from a tree and then they wait for their favorite food. So their favorite food would basically be lizards but they can also eat frogs but only very small ones. So the eastern bark snake is a very small one. If they are fully grown like a really big chunky one would just be about 30 in seldom cases about 40 centimeters in length. So this right here is about, maybe I say, 25. So it's almost a fully grown one. Can you believe it? It's probably the smallest snake I've ever caught in my entire life. And by far the wildest one. Did you see how it was scaring away? Like, boom, 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 boom. It was absolutely wild. And look at this little head. It's so small. Look at my pinky to, compared to that. And they have this little tongue. You see the little tongue coming out there? Smelling. So their tongue is forked, like all snakes. So they know from which direction the scent is coming and they can smell 10,000 times stronger than us. And if you want to find them up here in the tree, you have to look at the head. So the head looks a little bit different than the rest of the body, but the body itself, it's so hard to actually spot them. But in fact, they have smooth scales, so they do reflect the sunlight a little bit. So if you want to find them, you would probably want to look out for a little bit of a shine on the scales. So like snakes are not wet, not even slimy, of course. What you see here is just the reflection of the sun on their scales. So the venom, as I said, is like a hemotoxic venom, so it's blood affecting. So if it bites its prey, 
it's gonna die really quick because of internal bleeding. So just like the bomb slang, the bomb slang will kill us with its venom. One drop is enough to kill 25 people. This one here is not as venomous. As I said, the, it's just the effect of a bite is similar to that of a bee sting. But when you catch them like this, they're off guard and they're gonna, you know, they might as well just bite. Now you see it's relaxed. So this is why I was just taking a stick to help me with the snake because I do not know how my body will react to venom like this. This is why you don't want to take like an unnecessary chance. Beautiful snake and they also have a very good eyesight. Not anywhere near as good as that of a bomb stung, but they can still locate prey by eyesight. But as well they use their tongue and um, beautiful snake here. So obviously you would only prey on little lizards at that stage. Incredible one. So now after I disturb it, of course, what you want to do with wildlife like this, you always release it back into the world unharmed. So you have to be careful catching a snake like this, you know, it's very careful because you can easily break them, you know. They have about 450 bones in their entire body, just 50 in their head alone. So they're very fragile. And now, now check this out, when I have it here, out of instinct, it moves away from me. Look how, how long it's making itself, you see that? Oh, reaching, reaching, reaching. Come on, you gotta work for it, buddy. Come on. There you go, wow. What, what a muscle power, even though it's so small, they're incredibly strong. Beautiful snake. Come on, quick. Quick, 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 quick. Awesome. The eastern bark snake. Beautiful one. The smallest one and the wildest one of them all. I'm gonna tell you. 